I don't want nobody else with you. I don't want nobody else with you. Ooh, I, I. Nobody else with you. Ooh, I, I. She like, what's up, what's up with me and you? Yeah. What we finna, finna do? Lately, I've been giving you some room. Lately, I just don't know what to do. Oh, oh, oh. I don't want. Girl, I know the beat ain't this so, and we're back, back at it again. again. <laughs> it's day 12, people. Ooh. Ah, I know we late. I know. It's all I right. gotta. All right. You know. <laughs> but we still got that. Y'all gotta understand. It's been Mardi Gras. It was Mardi Gras all weekend, and we just got. And then Valentine's Day was just there, so it was like it was crazy, y'all. I'm sorry. It's all but right. we got y'all. These videos coming for you. Just make sure y'all hit. Just make sure y'all keep those notification bells on and you gonna know when we drop a video. Like now. Stay tuned. I was born on February 23rd in 1868 in Great Bermington, Massachusetts. I was one of the most important African American activists during the first half of the 20th century. I co-founded the NAACP and supported Pan-Africanism in 1909. I identified myself as mulatto. I freely attended school with whites and was enthusiastically supported in my academic studies by my white teachers. In 1885, I moved to Nashville, Tennessee to attend Fritz University. It was there I first encountered Jim Crow laws. For the first time, I began analyzing deep troubles of American racism. In 1895, I became the first African American to earn a Ph.D. from Harvard University. In 1900, I was a leader of the first Pan-African Congress in London. I also led four other Pan-African Congresses held from 1919 to 1927. I coined the phrase the talented 10, a term that described the likelihood of one in ten black men becoming leaders of their race. I wrote intensively and was the best-known spokesperson for African-American rights during the first half of the 20th century. I published The Souls of Black Folk, a philosophical and poet body of art that reveals how different the African-American experience is when you're living it compared to the way it looks to the rest of the society. I reveal bigotry in the military. I led the Niagara Movement in 1905. Myself and several members of the NAACP worked to ban the racism film, The Birth of a Nation. The attempts at banning was unsuccessful, but the fight drew many new members to the NAACP. I died on August 27, 1963, at the age of 95 in Ghana. And I quote, Education is the whole system of human training within and without the schoolhouse walls, which molds and develop men. Who am I? All right, y'all. How y'all like that video? Y'all liked it? What y'all thought about it? Y'all got some, some facts. Yeah, y'all y'all got some knowledge. Some new stuff. Did you learn something? If you learn something, say you learn something. In I the hope comments. you learned something because I'm going to tell you why I was reading it. What, was I reading or was you reading it? We both was reading it. I don't know who was reading it. But, anyways, I learned a lot. Mm -hmm. Okay? Some of the stuff that's up, I learned a lot from a lot of it. Okay? So, we're going to end this video with. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button. Hit that like button. Hit that share button. Hit that share button. Drop a comment down below. And tell a friend to tell a friend to tell that friend. That, that friend over there. That is Black History Month. It's Black History Month. And 2B Clarks is out here. 2B Clarks is celebrating us. See y'all next video. Oh. 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 Oh.